Okay, so uh, dito po sa video to, explain natin yung ano ba yung AMI broker saka ano yung MSI. Saka paano ba natin gagamitin yung MSI sa pag-trade. So let's start. Yung AMI broker, it is a comprehensive technical analysis program with the advanced charting, backtesting, and scanning capabilities. So yung features ng AMI broker and why you should get it is una, uh, powerful nga yung charting niya. So object-oriented drawing tools are there, drag and drop indicators, creating capabilities, modern, modern uh, customizable user interface, multiple time frame on charts, Ibig sabihin, pwede nyo makita yung weekly, monthly, intraday chart, and the uh, popular built-in indicators at marami pang iba. Symbol and the code database, build up and store historical data, unlimited number of symbols and codes. Tapos meron din siyang powerful uh, filters. Meron din siyang tinatawag na AMI Broker Formula Language which is called the uh, AFL. It is an advanced formula language. Basically, ang ginagawa ng AFL is it allows uh, people to program and make their own system using the uh, AFL formula language sa AMI Broker. In addition, you can also do backtesting and screening. So, bag para ma make sure nyo na um, nag-work ba yung system na yun, yung ginawa yung combinations ng indicators, kailangan nyo siyang i-backtest para malaman nyo kung profitable siya. Screening also, it helps you to uh, trim down yung mga possible na um, stocks na pwede nyo laruin using yung mga settings na naset nyo through the uh, AMI Broker uh, platform or data using uh, the AFL codes or the AMI Broker formula language. So to use AMI Broker, you have to incur some charges. Una, kailangan yung bumili ng AMI Broker software license. Meron siyang tatlong categories. Merong standard edition which is 14,000 pesos. Merong professional edition which is 17,000. And the ultimate pack pro edition which is 25,000. If you want to check on the differences between these three packages, you can go to AMI Broker website. So pag meron na kayong AMI Broker, kailangan nyo ng software para kumuha ng end of day data from from the PSE stock. So we normally use PSE get libre siyang uh, software para makakuha kayo ng data. In addition, marami ding mga websites diyan na nag-o-offer ng free download. Kakapin niyo na lang daw tapos paste niyo sa data folder ng AMI broker niyo. Kung gusto niyo naman ng real time or live data, pwede kayo mag-subscribe to uh, PSE Stock Manager. Bibigyan niya kayo ng real time data as well as end of day data. Uh, current subscription fee right now is say 250 per month. Okay? So yan yung sa uh, yan yung tatlong kailangan yung um, para makagamit kayo ng AMI Broker. Kailangan nyo ng AMI Broker software, kailangan nyo ng data subscription or uh, source ng data, and pangatlo, kung gusto nyo, kailang, uh, kumuha kayo ng magandang setup na ng, uh, ng AFL codes. Isa sa mga example ng AFL code is yung MSI. So this is the MSI. Okay. So pag nakuha niyo na yung pag meron na kayong code ng MSI, pwede kayong pumunta sa Windows. Then you can go to uh, chart. Then you can open you can open a formula by clicking new formula. 
and then you can put the name, let's say uh, MSI V7, okay? MSI V7.8. Ayan. So, ang gagawin nyo lang, pag mayroon na kayo nung code, right-click nyo to, edit, tapos lalabas yung blank screen na to, kakapi-paste nyo lang yung uh, codes dito. Okay? So, parang, tapos, you click apply, and then, ito na yung lalabas na chart niya. So, ano ba yung mga pwede natin gawin dito sa sa AMI bro uh, I mean sa MSI na code na to. Ano ba yung mga nakikita natin dito and how to how to be profitable in this uh, in in using MSI. So check muna natin yung mga data na nandito. Uh, on top you can see daily that this is a daily chart kasi nasa daily time frame tayo. Pwede rin siyang weekly, pwede monthly, pwede intraday intraday or hourly chart. Okay, for now, we will discuss on the daily chart. So, daily chart siya. This is the current day that we are trading on right now. So, nag-open siya ng 6.93 and yung highs niya for the day is 6.95, lows at 6.20. Nag-close yung price niya at 6.43. So, pag-red yung pag red yung closing price niya, ibig sabihin uh, bumagsak yung price niya from from the uh, uh, opening price niya. Tapos yung change niya, uh, this is the percentage, it's negative 5.72%. Okay. So yan yung basic data na makikita nyo, which is available also on most of the charts. Ngayon, in addition, we have also the 52 weeks high. So, ibig sabihin, yung, highs, yung 52 weeks high niya is 6.95. 52 weeks low niya is 3.10. And this is the 52 equilibrium. Ano ba yung 52 weeks equilibrium? Yung 52 weeks equilibrium is the, uh, the half price or yung kalahati ng... Uh, 52 weeks high and 52 weeks low. Bakit siya importante? When playing with the 52 weeks, pag 52 weeks low siya, ibig sabihin pwede kayo mag-bottom fishing. Or um, you could grab it at the cheapest price uh, in the time duration of 52 weeks. Sa 52 weeks high naman, siya yung kailangan na i-break niya para mag-continue siya to making a new high and possibly hit the all-time high of 6.95. So, ito yung all-time high niya. Currently, equal siya kasi kakabreak niya lang ng 6.73, week, uh, I mean, uh, all-time high niya. So, yung 52 equilibrium naman, pagka trade mo siya, ang, ang rule is, Anything trading above the 52 uh, equilibrium is an uptrend. Anything below the 52 equilibrium is a downtrend. So let me just plot the 52 equilibrium. So pag ipa-plot mo na siya, right-click lang, click on parameters, and then look for the 52 equilibrium. Okay, so this is 52 weeks, 52 weeks equilibrium. Just turn it on. Makikita nyo, nagkaroon ng, nagkaroon ng white line. So anything trading above the 52 weeks high, I mean above the 52 equilibrium is said to be bullish. And yung target price niya normally is the, the 52 weeks high. Pag nabreak niya 52 weeks high, ang next mo ng target price is the all-time high. Okay? So, kung gusto nyo naman na alisin yung 52 equilibrium, you just go back to the parameters and then click off. 
Okay? So, some more data na makita natin dito is the month-to-date percentage earning niya. So, from uh, uh, for, for the period of one month, meron na siyang 44.49% gain. Year-to-date percentage naman is nakagain na siya ng 46.46%. Uh, this one is the amount traded. Okay, so that is uh, calculated by the closing price multiplied by the volume. Tapos merong, uh, merong mga charges yung, um, yung broker. So it was deducted already. So sa volume, makikita nyo dito, meron siyang uh, connotation, I mean meron siyang comment here na high. So ang ibig sabihin lang yan, yung uh, three days na average volume niya is mas mataas ngayon compared sa previous. So kung pupunta kayo sa ibang mga candles, makikita nyo nagpapalit din siya. Okay? Kita nyo ngayon less than average siya. So maganda tong, um, maganda tong indicator din to give you an extra conviction kung lumalaki ba yung volume or lumiliit. So I would suggest kung gagamitin nyo to um, much better kung high yung uh, kung high yung kanyang uh, note dito or uh, at least above above the um, volume average. Very high would be very good syempre. Tapos low, ibig sabihin mababa yung uh, volume niya for the day comparing to the um, to the average volume the past three days so another one that we have here is the uh, sell V or the sell volume saka yung buy V or the buy volume ang ibig sabihin lang nito um, mas mataas yung sell volume niya today kesa sa buy volume so as you can see yung sell volume niya is 69% and yung buy volume niya is 31%. So in addition, pwede niyong gamitin to na mag-add again sa conviction niyo na makikita niyo o selling ngayon. So most probably, ang nangyari today is uh, taking profits. Kung mas mataas naman yung buy volume, ibig sabihin, buying na sila, pwedeng accumulation na. So it can be a signal for you to add up or buy the stock. Of course, consider adding uh, more uh, adding more indicators to your conviction para mas malakas siya. So the next one that we have is the foreign volume. Yung foreign volume is yung mga uh, foreign buy and sell ngayon. So as of today, it is negative 285 comparing to yesterday's uh, foreign volume of 883,000. So, malalaman nyo kung buying ba yung mga foreigns or selling. So, the next one is the VWAP. The VWAP is said to be uh, a good um, good price kung saan nagkaroon ng maraming buy. So, anything anything below the VWAP would be a good buy. So, kung bibili kayo, mas magandang near the VWAP lang. Meron din tayong uh, pivot for the day. So ano ba yung pivot? Yung pivot, yun yung um, similar to the uh, 52 equilibrium. Siya yung um, half price for the day. Okay? So pwede nating i-plot yan dito. Go to parameters again and then look for uh, pivot. Okay? Pivot. Okay. So dito, napapalaking ko lang siya. I just have to click this one. So makikita nyo, meron siyang white line, merong red line na dalawa sa taas, tapos merong green line sa ilalim na dalawa. So using the, the pivot, um, anything you buy above the pivot will be uh, bullish or uptrend. Anything you buy below 
is uh, medyo critical kasi ma pwedeng i-test niya yung um, support 1 or yung support 2 which is the two green lines. And yung resistance naman sa taas, breaking each and every resistance will mean na lumalakas yung uh, uptrend niya. So that's that's how you trade using the uh, pivots. Okay, so let me just close this. Okay, so the next one that we have here is the Fibonacci levels. Karamihan ng mga traders ginagamit yung Fibonacci kasi um, somewhat uh, accurate siya in giving uh, in giving you ideas kung saan magbabounce o kung saan mauumpog yung yung mga stocks. So for for example, dito sa chart natin ngayon, you can you can do um, a manual Fibonacci by clicking on this icon. Tapos sundin niyo lang to, ang zero level niya is at 4.8. So this is 4.8 which is the blue line. And then it ends to dito sa 100 niya which is 6.17. Okay, you can adjust that a bit para makuha mo yung 6.17. Or, anyway, or pwede mo siyang i-double click tapos i-manual input mo siya dito as uh, 6.17 and the other one is uh, 4.8. 4.8 and you can click OK. Yan. So makikita nyo, 0% is at 4.8 and 100% is at 6.17. So paano mo siya gagamitin? Makikita nyo dito, yung last candle niya, near to the 100% siya nag-bounce. Okay? Tapos, um, pwede mo sabihin na naumpog siya sa 702 ulit. So using this one, pwede nyo siyang i-trade uh, i yung range niya. Halimbawa, bibili kayo sa 6.17 which is the support at 100%, pwede, nyo, pwede kayo mag-set ng target price nyo at near or near uh, 7.02 at 161.8. So using that method, you could have gained 13.45%. Okay? So, dahil, dahil nga medyo mahirap yung pag-plot ng, ng Fibonacci, lalo na sa mga newbie, um, nilagyan ko dito ng uh, auto-plot yung Fibonacci. One way that you can do is by just looking at this these levels, open ko lang yung Fibonacci manual para makita nyo pa rin siya, no? Okay. So looking at this, um, looking at the manual Fibonacci and looking at this auto plot Fibonacci, you can see na at 161.8, yun din yung nakaplat dito, 161.8. Okay? It's around 7. So pwede mong i-expect dahil wala ng support and resistance sa taas, wala na kayo nakikita dahil all-time high na siya or 52 weeks high na siya. Paplat niyo yung Fibonacci niyo para makita niyo yung susunod na target price which is 7 at this level. So hindi na kayo magtatanong kung hanggang saan yung TP. Yan na yung target price niyo. Okay. Let's look at let's look at another uh, another chart para lang makita niyo yung um target and uh, yung target price and yung support. Let's look at the index. So sa index, makikita nyo na meron akong support near uh, 8,078 for the index and yung mga typical target prices at 8, 8266, 8295 and 8297 Tapos meron ding 8586. Okay. So, dyan siya most probably magbabounce sa 
sa mga support na yan and magte-take profit sila dito sa TP areas. Let's go back to our chart. Ayan. So, minsan naman, minsan naman makikita natin na um, yung bottom naman ang walang walang support and resistance. Dito, in this case, ang walang walang target price na nakikita is yung sa taas niya. Kasi nga, ATH na siya or 52 weeks high na siya. So let's take for instance chip. Yung chip naman um, almost uh, bottom price na ba to? 46.66 almost. Ito na yung uh, 52 weeks low niya. So paano nyo malalaman kung hanggang saan siya magbabounce? I mean hanggang saan siya pwedeng bumaba. So ang gagawin nyo na naman, pwede kayong mag plot ng Fibonacci Using again 100 at 5.5 and yung lows nyo or the 0% at, sorry, 0% zero, zero at 5.5 and yung 5.5, this is 5.5 and lows nyo at uh, 4.96 4.96 Okay, so makikita nyo dito meron siyang So pala mapapalaki nyo to by just clicking here and um, holding on your shift button Okay, tapos you can drag it up after So makikita nyo dito meron siyang uh, support at 4.63 at the level ng Fibonacci niya na 161.8. Another support will be uh, 4. Meron pa siyang mga Fibonacci in the middle pero hindi ko na siya nilagay dito sa manual. You can do that by clicking Fibonacci and you can click uh, this one. Yan, so yan, meron siya dyan isa. You can, you can also put one more here. Pero sabi ko nga, dahil mahirap mag-plot mag ng Fibonacci, meron, din, meron na tayong um, auto-plot. So ang gagawin mo lang, you, you have to right-click, go to parameters, and then you have to look for uptrend Fibonacci retracement and select downtrend Fibonacci retracement. Then click on, and then click OK. And so makikita nyo na, na dito sa chart ni Chip, possible na possible na, na mag-bounce siya sa 4.62 level. Nakita niyo naman lumawit na siya. Right? So kung again, kung gagamitin niyo yung auto plot, pag downtrend yung stock, ang pipiliin niyo dito is ang pipiliin niyo sa Fibonacci retracement is of course downtrend. Ayan, on nyo lang to. Okay? So, kung uptrend naman siya, like this stock, pag nag-double click kayo sa area to, yung automatic adjust niya yung, yung, um, yung chart niyo. Si center niya. So, dahil uptrend siya, click ko yung uptrend Fibonacci retracement. On. Then, okay. Tapos pag binabaan nyo siya ng ganyan, makikita nyo na ayan na yung levels kung saan siya pwedeng, kung saan kayo pwede mag-take profits or kung saan pwede mag-bounce or kung saan kayo pwede bumili dahil merong support doon. Okay, so that's your uh, auto plot Fibonacci. Okay, so another, another uh, system na another buy and sell system na pwede nyong sundan dito sa sa ating MSI chart is what I call the uh, MSI signal. Yung MSI signal again is ito yun. It is based on uh, pivot ulit. It's the swing low and swing ang, ang sinusundan niya is swing low and swing high ng ng 
ng particular stock. So dito, ito yung magsasabi sa inyo kung uh, yung trade nyo ba magiging long or short. So kung long yung trade mo, ibig sabihin nagbigay siya ng buy signal. Kung short naman, katulad dito sa area to, so from here to here, dahil wala siyang buy signal, sasabihin niya, short lang yung trades mo dapat. Okay? So once na once na ma-reach niya yung uh, once na magbigay siya ng buy signal sasabihin niya dito signal go long entry price is 4.16 which is this price na makikita niya dito tapos yung last exit price niya is 4.9 which is yung previous exit price So that gives you an idea na from from 4.16 to 4.9, pwede kayong mag-gain ng 0.74 cents. Okay? And yung stop loss nyo or yung trailing stop is 4.33. Yun yung trailing stop pa. Yung cut loss nyo naman is, it, it's up to you. You can decide. Um, mostly yung uh, cut loss level natin is uh, 2 to 3 flux or 2 to 3 uh, percent below the buy price. Okay? So, ayan. Stop loss at 4.33. Tapos risk reward ratio. Um, yung risk reward ratio niya, mas mababa yung, yung uh, risk reward ratio number. Mas maganda. Okay? So, he would suggest also that it is a strong buy kasi nga, um, it is the swing low or the lower low of of the of this particular trend okay tapos uh, as we move on to the next candles makikita niyo na kinakalculate niyo na rin yung yung uh, gains or yung profit na nakukuha mo tapos mag adjust din yung trailing stop mo okay so using using this uh, system for example, let's go back to to the previous uh, trade that we have na nagkaroon ng buy and sell signal. Okay, so we will be measuring um, we will be measuring this this buy here at 3.5 tapos yung sell signal niya is at 4.9 so meaning to say ang gain mo dapat using this system is 38.17%. Although, pag, pag end of day yung gamit mong um, yung gamit mong uh, data, makikita mo yung buy signal niya sa next day na. Pero kung meron kang meron kang live data or real data, pag open pa lang ng candle na to, makikita mo na to kaagad. So, maraming nagsasabi na late siya, pero it's it's better na late siya kasi may confirmation na. Kailangan niya kasi ng confirmation eh. So, mas maganda na yung late siya kaysa naman hindi niyo alam kung saan talaga yung tamang bili at kung saan yung tamang benta. So, sabihin natin na late, late nga yung signal niya. So, syempre makakabili ka dito na sa, sa next candle na to. Sabihin natin dito pa sa third candle kasi mas, masyado kayong sigurista dito kayo bumili sa candle na to. At the opening price, bumili kayo dito. Tapos, syempre itong sell na to, makikita nyo siya sa next day lang. So dito ka na nakapagbenta. So that would still give you 22% gain. Okay? So that's, that's your... Um, that's your MSI signal. Along with the MSI signal, meron pa akong tinatawag na MSI indicator. Ito yung MSI indicator. It's basically a uh, based on MACD. It's about to cross MACD. Bali, in-adjust ko lang yung parameters ng MACD. Tapos yung blue arrow niya is your um, MACD crossover above above zero line so ang 
ang isa pang way na pwede niyong gamitin to is you do tranches buying. You buy some portion here pag nakita niyo tong buy signal na to, tapos you add here sa yellow arrow, the MSI signal, then you can add again on the MACD signal. Okay? So by using that, at least hindi kayo bumibili in one basket. Meron kayong tranches buying. And still, you can maximize the um, you can maximize the the profit. So another na makikita nyo dyan is after siyang nag MACD cross okay, ito yung MACD cross, di ba? After ng MACD cross, ang susunod niya na is yung swag ni Jared. So ang swag ni Jared, before pa siya mag-swag, magbibigay na rin ang system ng buy alert. So it could be again another add up. Pwede pa kayo ulit bumili doon. So added conviction yan. So nakita niyo dito may buy alert na siya. And on the next day, nag um, bullish na siya. It's the first day of the cross of the swag. Okay, so that's that's one system na pwede nyong gamitin. So some more, some more items na makikita nyo dito or some more indicators are mostly basic indicators na like the Heiken Ashi. Yung Heiken Ashi is a, is a, um, is a more accurate uh, trend indicator. So para it was whipso or iwas kayo sa mga false signal, pwede nyo gamitin yung high candle ashi. And pwede nyo palang i-off yung, um, yung candlesticks by clicking this, flat candlesticks. And then you can click the high candle ashi candle. Kasi iba yung, uh, iba yung high candle ashi candles. So here, makikita nyo, uptrend pa rin yung high candle ashi niya. Okay. So with different candles again nagpapalit siya ng conviction niya si the downtrend or an uptrend. So makikita niyo yun dito. Okay, so ibalik natin yung ating normal candles. Um, another is the parabolic star. Yung parabolic star naman is yun yung mga tinatawag natin na mga sago. So parabolic star is is also used to confirm yung uh, trend natin kung uptrend na ba siya or downtrend. So you can just click it here. And then basta nasa ilalim yung mga sagot niya, it means uh, parabolic star is uptrend. Uptrend yung uh, stock mo. So pag nasa ibabaw naman siya katulad nito, nasa ibabaw siya, ibig sabihin downtrend siya. So, mas lumalapit yung distance ng candle to the parabolic star. Ibig sabihin, mas lumalapit yung uh, reversal niya. Okay? So, switch this off. Another um, conviction also that can add up sa, sa trend nyo is the um, BB trend or the Bollinger Band uh, trends. So you can uh, switch on your Bollinger Bands by clicking here. You can also adjust the uh, parameters here, yung periods, tapos yung colors, kung gusto nyo, pwede. So click on. So this is your upper band, and this is your mid band, which is your MA20, and this is your lower band. So depende sa formation ng band niya, magkakaroon ng uh, pattern yung uh, trend. So for now, it's a short trend yung binibigay ng stock na to. And then you have the Bollinger Bands also here. Uh, ang ibig sabihin lang nito is kung ano ba yung position ng um, price action with regards to the Bollinger Bands. So it says bullish yung bullish yung um, yung trend natin kasi the price is lying near the upper band tapos yung uh, price niya is above the mid band 
So this is your mid band. So that's above. Okay. So anything above the MA20 or the mid band is considered as bullish. Okay. So that's your Bollinger bands. Let's just switch off the Bollinger bands. Come in. Okay. So we also have the MSI bagger. Basically, yung MSI bagger natin is um, it's a crossover system of uh, a slow and a fast moving average and EMA. Okay. So when the when the price is I mean, when, when the green line is above, that's your buy signal. So, makikita nyo dito, bullish na siya, zero, zero days. So, meaning kaka-cross niya lang. So, you have to ride that um, crossover until mag-cross again si green sa kasi blue line. Same like dito, nasa taas na yung blue, nasa baba na yung green. So, following this system again, it's, it's another buy and sell trading system. So following this system again with, with this uh, stock that we are discussing right now. So measure lang natin. So we ask you to buy here. Tapos wala pa siyang sell signal. Wala pa siyang sell signal ngayon. So we ended up here the last trading day. So you can profit around 57.22%. Not bad for for another buy and sell signal. Okay, so yun yung um, MSI bagger. Then we have the Ichimoku. So Ichimoku naman, you can go here and just open Ichimoku. So this is Ichimoku. Just click on. Okay. So now the position of Ichimoku is bullish because it is above the cloud. And then it says here above kumho and it is a strong buy kasi nasa taas yung uh, TK cross niya. So with regards to the, so depende sa type ng cross, kung nag-cross man siya above, kung nag-cross siya below the kumho or nag-cross siya sa loob ng kumho, iba-iba rin yung ibibigay niya sa yung analysis. Say for example dito, uh, makikita niyo na bullish siya pero not not available yung um, yung analysis niya kasi it is said na pag nasa loob ng ng kumho ang price action it's a bit shaky or it's a no trade area okay so dito nakita niyo na bearish na siya because it is below the kumho and it is a strong sell signal okay dahil Pagka, pagka dito nakita niya nag-try siyang mag-uptrend, di ba? Kasi possible na maumpog siya dito sa blue line. Possible na maumpog. Sorry. Close ko pala muna itong ano, um, MSI bagger. Ayan. So pagka nandito siya, ang sinasabi ng system is it's a bearish uh, signal and it is below the kumho and strong sell siya dahil possible na itong mga lines na to, yung blue and red line, pwedeng maumpog siya dyan tapos hindi tumuloy yung trend. In this case naman, tumuloy siya. So naging strong yung trend niya. And pagdating dito, possible again na maumpog siya dyan but then again, tumuloy pa rin siya dahil malakas yung stock. Okay. Again, you can see the, the MSI signal here na nagsasabi ng buy kasi it's for bottom fishing. And then there's your MSI indicator and your um, yung MACD cross natin. Let's see kung nasaan yung swag natin. So, yeah. There's your swag. Buy alert. And then the next one is nag-cross na siya. Okay. So itong green green na arrow na to, this is um, uh, volume spikes. So ibig sabihin, pag merong ganyang arrow, nagkaroon ng malaking volume. Pag nasa ilalim siya at green siya, ibig sabihin, um, bullish yung, uh, yung uh, volume up, yung nadagdag na volume. Ibig sabihin, nagkaroon ng uh, maraming buy-ups. Pag nasa ibabaw naman siya, which is red, 
uh, ibig sabihin niya nagkaroon ng uh, sell down yung stocks. So that's your uh, Ichimoku. Okay. So the next one that we have is your alignment of the stars uh, popularized by C. Frix. So sa alignment of the stars naman, you just go here and look for AOTS or alignment of the stars. Okay. Tapos meron din akong isang um, nilagay dito. This is uh, um, about to cross alignment of the stars. So it's, it's a bit earlier signal than um, the normal alignment of the stars. So ang, ang use dito is uh, before pa man siya mag-cross over, nakapasok na kaya kaagad. Okay. So sa alignment of the stars, uh, makikita nyo na um, yung MA20 natin is yung uh, white line. Yung red line is yung MA50. And the blue line is the MA100. So dapat ganyan yung uh, alignment niya. MA20 is greater than MA50. MA50 is greater than MA100. Okay, tapos dapat nasa ilalim, nasa ibabaw yung, uh, yung price niya para sabihin mong malakas yung uptrend. So sabi ni Sir Sifrix, once na mag-align yung stars, which is somewhere here, makikita nyo, bullish siya two days, uh, zero days ago. Check lang natin kung nasaan yung alignment of the stars. So yan, that's just one candle before. So ibig sabihin, kung dito kayo bumili using the alignment of the stars buy and sell signal, wala pa siyang sell signal kasi dapat um, maging inverted alignment of the stars siya. Inverted alignment of the stars is yung nasa taas naman yung um, blue line tapos followed by the red line and then the uh, white line. So ano lang siya, uh, kabaliktaran lang ng alignment of the stars. So following this buy and sell signal, makikita nyo na meron kayo currently dapat na 39% gain. Okay. So yan yung um, trading system using the alignment of the stars. So using naman the uh, before uh, about to cross alignment of the stars, bago pa siya mag-cross, makikita nyo magbibigay na siya ng buy alert dito. So kanina kung, kung bumili kayo dito sa cross ng alignment of the stars, tapos nagbenta kayo dito, Meron kayong 38%. Pero kung halimbawa dito kayo bumili dahil inanticipate niyo yung cross niya, tapos dito kayo nagbenta, so dapat meron kayong 43%. So that's 38 and 43. So mas malaki yung profit niyo kung makapasok kayo. Or pwede, nyo, pwede kayong bumili ng uh, tranches again. Uh, pwede kayong mag-test by uh, before ng before ng cross ng alignment of the stars, giving you the buy alert. Tapos you can add up sa uh, alignment of the stars mismo. Okay? So that's your alignment of the stars. Another thing that we have is the swag popularized by uh, Sir Jared. Sa swag naman, it's a crossover again of uh, of EMA13 and MA20. So yung EMA13 mo is yung green line. MA20 is yung blue line. So na-discuss ko na kanina na sa swag meron tayong about to cross swag. Okay, so let's find that. So minsan minsan hindi mo siya makiki, minsan hindi mo makikita dito na may buy alert siya kasi kung minsan sumasabay na yung uh, buy alert niya sa same day ng ng swag mismo. In this case dito sila nagsabay. Okay? So by using this system, buy ka lang when when the the bullish signal appears on a zero day. 
and then send it pag nag-crossover na siya. So, in this case, kung dito kayo bumili, dahil wala pang cross yung um, yung ating swag to sell, then you would have, oh, sorry, you would have gained already 32%. Okay? So, yun yung swag. Then, we have the basic indicators, uh, MACD. MACD gives a bullish sign pagka nag-cross siya above zero level. And it will give you a bearish sign or magre-red siya pagka yung um, previous MACD niya mas, mas mababa. Okay, so nakita niyo dito pataas siya ng pataas kaya bullish yung MACD niya. So stochastics, uh, RSI, and MFI and CCI. Sorry, um, stochastics, RSI, and CCI gives you overbought and uh, oversold areas. Okay. So bakit yun dito pag overbought na yung yung stochastics niyo, sulat niyo yan overbought na siya yung RSI and yung CCI. Tapos pag oversold naman siya. Yan, makikita nyo, oversold na siya. So, it could give you again another conviction na, uy, pwede na akong bumili kasi oversold pala yung stock. Okay? Pag sinabi namang range, ibig sabihin, the stock is trading uh, in between the range area. In this case, um, uh, it's above, kung sa RSI, it's above 30 and below 70. Kaya nasa range area lang siya. Okay? So, yan yung uh, paggamit ng indicators ng MACD, Stochastics, RSI, and CCI. Yung MFI naman is just to confirm kung um, yung pera ba is incoming pagka green and outgoing pagka red naman siya. And you have also conviction here of accumulation and distribution. So you buy when it says accumulation, then you take profit when it says distribution. Big sabihin, nagbabawas sila ng mga hawak nila. So, some more uh, indicators that we have are the uh, simple moving average and the exponential moving average. So, very basic. When the price is trading above the, the moving averages, Open lang natin yung moving average. Okay. And pwede nyo, pwede nyo i-plot ng one time yung lahat ng moving averages which is 9, 20, 50, 120. Otherwise, you can do it uh, one by one. Okay. So this time, i-plot plot muna natin ng sabay-sabay. Uh, so the pink one is the... Um, Moving average 9. This is the magic 9 na pinapinalize naman ni uh, Miss G ng Traders Empire. So when the stock is trading above the MAs, in any MA, when the stock is trading above that, ibig sabihin bullish siya. Okay? And again, your each of these um, moving averages can be your uh, support and resistance. So here, Yung MA20 mo, which is the white line, serves as a support. Tapos nung nag-break niya, nag-break out na siya, break niya rin yung MA9, tapos continuous na. Okay? So, MA, MAs and EMAs are, uh, can be your uh, support and resistance also. So, another trading system is Whenever the stock is uh, crossing above the MA, that's your buy signal. Whenever it's crossing down, that will be your sell signal. Okay. Another one that we have is the uh, uh, bullish bullish score. Uh, basically, sa likod ng sa likod ng MSI, there are there are actually more than more than sixty. 60 um, indicators na ginamit. And um, 
all of these indicators have their corresponding uh, score value. So, mas mataas yung um, bullish score, ibig sabihin, mas, mas maganda yung stock. At the same time, may makikita rin kayo ditong added conviction na above average, meron din yung less than average, there's high, very high. So, ibig sabihin, um, this is your uh, three days uh, average score. So, pagka very high siya, ibig sabihin, nag increase yung um, yung strong bullish conviction ng stock na yun. So, using this system again, you can buy whenever the, the score is above average and then you can sell whenever it's already uh, very high. You can, you can take profit on that because in, in a stock that the score is very high, makikita niyo lahat uh, overbought na siya. So, ibig sabihin, mabigat na yung stock, kailangan nang magbawas ng, ng mga um, ng mga bumili. So, as shown here, the next day, nagkaroon ng sell down. And, but still, the, the score is above average. So, so it, you can call it as, as a, uh, a healthy pullback. Okay. And we have also the divergence. Divergence the stock is whenever the, the, the price is moving up and yung indicators nyo naman sa baba is moving down or sumasalungat siya sa, sa movement ng price. So yung divergence, um, ang meron tayong divergence ngayon is the stochastics. Ito yun, yung mga bilog ngayon ng mga green lines. Pag green yung bilog, ibig sabihin um, bullish. Pag red naman, bearish. So, in this example, we have the stochastics. So, to verify that one, you can go to charts and then open your uh, stochastics. So, double click on stochastics D and then I have to add K. Okay, so makikita nyo dito that the, the price is moving up. Okay, from here to here, price is moving up. Pero yung ating CC, I mean yung stochastics natin is having a downtrend. Okay, so that's that's basically the, the concept of, of divergence. You can you can read more on that sa, sa, sa web to find out more on uh, stochastic, I mean um, divergence. So again, just by knowing na meron siyang bullish uh, bullish divergence, so it's 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 another positive uh, point you can add on your um, conviction. Another thing that we have is the chart patterns. The chart patterns is yung um, mga patterns na nakuform ng uh, candles natin. So uh, you can uh, what's the chart patterns? Uh, this is one of the uh, patterns. This is the uh, channel. Okay, so uh, range trading will be inside the blue line and the blue blue upper line and then the blue downline. Yan, pwede kayo mag-range dyan. Range trading. So, as long as hindi siya bumaba um, below the green line. So, the trend will continue. Uh, ano yung patterns natin? Ayun. This is the patterns. Okay. So, let's switch off the the line regression. Okay. Yan. So makita niya dito, ang sinasabi niya is upward sloping channel. So yan yung pattern na uh, sinusunod niya ngayon. So this can again add to your conviction ng trading niyo kung okay pa ba siya or pangit na siya kasi pangit na yung um, yung 
pattern na binibigay niya. Another thing that you can see is uh, the harmonics pattern. Okay. Mm -hmm. Switch this off. We have the harmonics, harmonics pattern. Okay. Ito yung bullish pattern. Then you can have the red pattern. I mean, the, the, the bearish pattern. And then the fractals. So, paliliitin lang natin siya. Okay. So, you can see, pagka blue yung pattern niya, ibig sabihin, um, bullish. Bullish pattern yung pinoform niya. And, bearish naman pagka, um, pagka-red yung pattern. Okay? So, hindi siya masyadong, hindi masyadong accurate yung ating harmonics pattern kasi yung harmonics, uh, um, kailangan, kailangan, mas maganda siyang pinaplot manually. Pero you can you can also adjust the you can adjust the settings here based on the on the uh, pattern na pinuform niya. Okay, para mas accurate siya. Well, just just by knowing na meron siyang pattern na na form, either bullish or bearish, it, it still adds adds to your uh, conviction. So let's switch that off. Yung yung fractals yun yung um, ginagamit na points para magplot ng ng uh, harmonics. Tapos uh, we have the bullish bullish candles and the bearish candles. So ang ang binibigay lang yan is nagbibigay siya ng mga um, suggestion ng uh, uh, patterns ng candles. For example, dito, um, twister bottom, a reversal, a reversal pattern with uh, the reversal candle, it could be, it could indicate a support level. Okay, so, ito yun. So, it did, it did made a uh, support at this level. Okay, so, kung bearish siya, iba naman yung ibibigay niyang, um, iba naman yung conviction na ibinibigay niya. Ayan, diba? So, that's your chart. Ah, ito pa pala. Kung napapansin nyo, ito, nag-iiba siya ng kulay. Minsan, um, uh, bright green. Tapos, meron din siyang um, white. Ano uh, ba yung iba po ito? We have the... Uh, Meron siyang dark green. Ayun, dark green. Okay. So, ang ibig sabihin lang yan, uh, pagka white siya, it's either a downtrend or sideways. So, I wouldn't be trading a white uh, colored uh, stock indicator. Okay. So, I would rather trade yung um, green, basta na green na yung kulay niya. So, habang nagiging brighter yung color niya, mas, mas nagiging malakas yung uh, conviction. So, from here, you see, dull pa rin yung color niya. Tapos, biglang naging bright. Tapos, dull ulit. But it's still an uptrend. Yeah. Tapos, makita nyo at this area, Continuous na siya na nagiging uh, dito sa area ng to. Yan, dito. Continuous na siya na nagiging green. Okay. This is also uh, the same time na nagkaroon ng alignment of the stars. Okay. So, big sabihin, pagka uh, yung alignment of the stars nyo is in line, and the price is trading above the the um, the MAs, so that is an uptrend, which is a green uh, colored stock name. 
Okay, so now let's go to um, let's go to exploration. Ano pa ba yung mabibigay sa atin ng ng MSI? Uh, before we go to that, um, let me explain to you this these lines. Meron tayong lines dito. We have the green line, we have the orange line, and the blue line. Lahat yan can be a support and uh, your target prices. Basically, yung blue, yung blue line, that's your support and resistance or your breakout and break breakdown um, support and resistance level for the day. Yung sa weekly naman is the green one and yung orange is the uh, monthly. So you can uh, switch it on and off dito. Okay. So, sorry, yung weekly pala is yung orange. Yung green is yung monthly. Okay. Ayan. So, in between the lines, you can always uh, you can always do a, tra uh, a range trading. Okay. Range trading, for example, um, from this blue line to that blue line, that's your support and resistance. Kung nag-trade kayo dyan, that could be uh, 28%. And at the same time, um, pwede nyo rin siyang gawin as a breakout trading. So, every time na mabibreak nyo yung target price niya, yung TP. Uh, let's see another stock. Okay. Every time na mabibreak yung TP dito, in target price, okay. Then yeah, that could be a possible entry because after breaking this this uh, orange line, magiging support na siya. So that's that's one possible um, trading strategy again. So now we move to the uh, we move to the exploration. Ano ba yung exploration? So yung exploration is one analysis na binibigay sa atin ng um, ng AMI broker para mas mabilis tayong makapag-screen out ng mga stocks natin based sa uh, ating mga um, indicators na nakaset. Okay? So you do that by going to Windows, Charts, and right-click on the uh, formula and click Analysis. Okay, so dito, um, this is all symbols. Ibig sabihin lahat ng symbols sa scan niya. Tapos the, the, the date ng range na kailangan natin i-check. In this case, i-check natin yung last trading date. Last Friday. Okay, so just click explore. So ang ginagawa niya ngayon, ni-scan niya yung lahat ng stocks ng PSA. Tapos, ina-analyze niya lahat based sa mga indicators na nakaset natin. So, makikita niyo mamaya, hindi siya ganun, hindi siya ganun ka kabagal gawin. It, it takes you less than, less than a minute only para, para makapag-scan kayo ng, ng buong chart analysis niyo. Okay, so, as it... At exactly 35 seconds na tapos na mag-analyze yung ating um, uh, AMI broker. So makikita niyo dito, ito yung lahat ng analysis na nakaset ko sa charts. Tapos uh, pwede, pwede niyong piliin dito, halimbawa, uh, dito, um, Bollinger Band Squeeze. Kung gusto niyo lahat ng Bollinger Band Squeeze lang. So until here, ibig sabihin lahat yan is currently having a uh, Bollinger Band squeeze. So the rest, you can do it also. Okay, yung swag, for instance. And so lahat ng bullish, ibig sabihin, um, is having a, a, a bullish uh, swag signal ngayon. So in order for you to easily uh, see the, the um, possible buy and sell signals na binibigay ng system, I have created an additional um, small Microsoft Access program para ma-screen out siya ng mas mabilis. 
So all you have to do is uh, select all and then copy. Then you have to open open one Excel file, a blank Excel file. Okay, this is a blank Excel file. Paste nyo lang siya doon. Okay, paste nyo siya doon. Tapos, i-delete nyo yung first liner. Pagka-delete nyo yung first line, click nyo to, tapos i-copy nyo. Okay, tapos pagka-copy nyo, open nyo yung so, this is the uh, small uh, Microsoft Access database. Open nyo yung um, data. Click here. Delete nyo lang yung Luma. Okay. And then, you go back to the Excel. Click copy. And I go here. Click here. And then, paste. So, ibig sabihin ngayon, yung lahat ng data ng AMI broker natin na i-transfer na natin dito sa ating uh, Excel sheet. I mean, dito sa ating um, Microsoft Access uh, reporting sheet, reporting tool. So here, makikita nyo, uh, nakaiwahiwalay na yung mga um, mga uh, reports. So for example, ito, I double click ko siya. Makikita nyo dito, ang sinasabi dito is, this stock is currently on its 52 weeks high and ito yung mga possible stop or uh, sorry this is uh, stp is your support and or your target prices so pwede kayong bumili dito sa area to pwede rin kayong magbenta sa area to kung meron na kayong hawak okay and yung uh, possible target profit nyo is 17% and this is your best entry and your best exit ano ba yung best entry and yung best exit Kung maaalala nyo, dito sa uh, stock natin na to, ang best entry nyo is kung saan nagkaroon ng um, buy signal. Okay? And yung exit is the uh, previous sell signal. So of course, kung ayaw nyo naman na isa-isahin yan lahat, meron tayong um, summary ng lahat. So you just have, you have to double click MSI analysis. So nandito na lahat yung stock analysis, yung mga place na pwede nyong gawin. Okay, so Bollinger Band Squeeze is there, MSI Bagger, yung mga discuss natin kanina, signals, indicators, pattern breakouts. Okay. Tapos dito sa baba, uh, meron siyang... Um, meron siyang list ng lahat ng stocks ng PC at sasabihin niya sa'yo based on Bollinger Bands kung ano yung trend niya. It's either long uptrend, short uptrend, constriction, downtrends, and consolidation. Consolidation and constriction is your sideways. Okay. So, yan yung um, bumubuo ng uh, analysis ng ating MSI. Um, let's just uh, take, take one example here uh, on how to read this chart. I mean, this um, analysis. So this is your stock. Nag-open siya ng 60.05. Yung highs niya is at 61.9. Lows at 59. And yung current change niya is 1.34. Negative 1.34. The close here today at uh, 59, and this is your current volume. So volume times uh, close value less uh, tax, that would be the total value here. And then you have the net foreign buy and sell. Then you have the average volume. Then your average score, niya, kung high, low, or above average. Tapos, ito yung first support or target price. First support and target or target price. So, makikita nyo dito na yung close nyo is at 59. So, 59, ito nakalampas na siya. Mukhang may hirapan na kayo pumasok dyan. 
So you go to the next um, support. So next support is, a, is at 53. Hindi pa rin naabot. Dahil 59 siya. So possible kung mag, mag uh, entry kayo dito, it's either on the fourth, uh, fourth support or uh, fourth support or target profit area, which is at 57. Okay, and this is the suggested uh, entry noon, no buy signal at 45, and best exit is at 63. So, pwede nyo sabihin dito, pag pumasok pala ako ng 57, or kung makakuha man ako ng 57, pwede kong i-assume na yung target price ko is at 63. Okay, so from 45 to 63, kung yun yung naging entry nyo, you would have had 40% profit. Okay, so halimbawa naman na, katulad nito, halimbawa na nakalampas na siya sa uh, fourth support or target price entry or exit. Paano kayo mag assume ng next level nyo? You go back to the chart. Okay? We go back to the chart. That's RCB. Nag-close siya ng 49. So this is the, I'm uh, sorry, 59. So 59 is here. So 59 is actually a support. As you can see here, it's a support. Medyo konti lang yung uh, diferensya between 59.05 and 59.2 kaya naging TP to. So it could, it could be your possible support at 59.2 tapos target price nyo is at 63. So pag nalampasan nyo na naman yung 64, pwede na kayong mag-refer dito sa um, Fibonacci natin. So currently, magi I mean, magiging 100% uh, nyo is 63.30. So next target price mo is 67, 72, and 88. Okay, so yan yung um, kabuuhan ng MSI and how to trade your MSI.